welcome to Q&A with Don. I'm your host, Don Purdom. So you might be wondering why I'm wearing this really super ridiculous, over-the-top, wonderful, awesome, amazing attire of my favorite quarterback and team, Tom Brady of the New England Patriots. Well, it's because Beverly in Tampa Bay, Florida, had a question for me as it relates to understanding content and why isn't my content working the way I want to. Beverly, I have an idea for you. How many people do you have around you supporting you and helping you with your blog? You see, it's kind of like Tom Brady in the New England Patriots. He may be a Hall of Fame quarterback, but he's nothing without his coaches, and he's nothing without his teammates. See, he can't win a game by himself, can he? Likewise, neither can you. You see, he needs an offensive line to block for him, a running back who can run the football, he needs wide receivers who can catch it, and a defense that can stop the opponent. Now, how about you? Have you done a good job of building your team to help market your content? Because you see, it doesn't really matter if you create the greatest, most amazing, most spectacular content in the world. It doesn't matter one bit. It doesn't matter if you're sitting here putting out this content that everybody just wants to absorb but can't find because you haven't marketed it. You see, the biggest problems with many business bloggers is, is that we do a great job of writing really good content. We do a good job of defining the problems that we solve. Well, maybe most of us do. But if you do a good job of defining the problems that you solve and you know who you solve them for and you know what business you're really in, then it really just becomes a function of writing one article to solve one problem for one person, right? Now, how do you find the person that needs to read that article? Do you just write it and post it and walk away and leave it? I certainly hope not, because if you do, then that's why you're not gaining any traction. If you're just waiting on Google or Yahoo or Bing to do this work for you, well, then it's kind of like this guy right here. This guy right here can do nothing by himself. Neither can you. So you need a team to do it. Now, my friend Adrian Smith has really developed a great product that helps talk about how to build community and how to do it in such a way that it helps drive and build opportunities for you through the people that you're connected with, through your teammates. Now, if you're going to have a teammate, that means you have to do something for them. So Tom Brady has to put the work in, right? If he's going to be successful for his team, he's got to spend all the time preparing, he's got to do all the practicing, and then he's got to be ready to execute when it comes game time. Well, how are you executing for your team? Is it all about you or is it all about them? Because see, if it's all about them, then you stand a chance. So what do I mean by it's all about them? Well, it's really pretty simple. Do you read other people's blogs? Do you leave really good, intelligent, helpful, worthy comments that give them a reason to engage with you and come back to you and comment on your blog? Do they share you with their audience the way you share them with your audience? Because see, you don't have everybody in your audience that's going to buy from you, right? You just, you don't. So you have to realize you really have maybe three types of audience members. You have your primary, secondary, and tertiary audience. Your primary audience is going to be those that are your actual prospects and customers or clients. They're the people that buy from you. They're the people you want to talk to. They're the people that put food on your table or allow you to buy the car that you drive or experience the entertainment you want to experience or have the family time that you want to have. Then there's the secondary. Adrienne would be my secondary. She serves the same audience I serve, but in a very different way. Now, a very special person that actually went out of her way to write, well, she didn't write, she made an incredible video for me. Her name is Donna, and you need to connect with Donna. Donna is absolutely amazing, and see, this is what I talk about building community, because look what Donna Merrill did for me. Donna Merrill went and created this video, and she shared me with her entire audience via video, in her own voice. She took an article that I wrote and put it out there. It wasn't about her. She made that all about me. Now, I get to turn around and do the same thing for her. It's called the Law of Reciprocity, where we share each other's content. So, she serves the same audience I serve, but in a very different way than I serve. That's your secondary audience. Now, your third audience 
who might just be people that are interested in reading your blog, learning from you, doing, doing it themselves. But they may, just may, come across somebody who says, I was wondering about ABC, and they remember, hey, you know what, I read ABC's blog, and ABC had great content. You should check this link out. Here, let me email it to you, or let me share it with you on social media. That would be your third audience member. Maybe they're never going to buy from you, but again, they kind of have access to people that would be interested in what you do, and they want to share it. So really, it becomes all about marketing and promoting your content. It's not enough, Beverly, just to put this great stuff out there and leave it and just hope and pray by some miraculous thing, 20 comments are going to show up, or 50, or 100, or 200, or thousands of people are going to visit and read your article, and then they're going to fill out the forms and contact you and do business with you, or they're going to buy your e-commerce product. It just it doesn't work that way. We have to establish through our teammates trust, and those teammates are going to be the ones that leave comments, that read your articles, and you do the same for them. And then sharing it out on social media and sharing the relevance of how we make a difference for one another. So, Beverly, I hope that answers your question. Your content probably isn't gaining traction because you don't have a team around you. And it's your job right now to become the Tom Brady of your team, to be the leader of your team, to inspire, encourage, and motivate your team to go to work for you. Now, how are you going to do that? By doing it for them. The things you want are the things you need to be willing to do for others. So, Beverly, that's it in a nutshell. That's how you get your opportunities to drive content to get massive readership that reach your first, second, and third levels of audience so that people can do business with you. And really at the end of the day, marketing is about creating that competency, creating that sense of trust, and putting, in your, putting yourself in a position that will translate to sales, where sales is nothing more than giving people a reason to buy from you. Hope that helps. Now folks, if you're out there and you have a question about marketing, online marketing, and how do you build your blog and your social media and your engagement? How do we do this from a business point of view so that we earn opportunities? This is how it's done. By the way, one more shout out to Adrian. Just to give a confirmation of how this all works together, Adrian sent me a really quality referral. I'm excited about doing business with this person as a result of an endorsement and a recommendation that she personally made to this person to seek me out. Think about that. I've never personally met Adrian. We have only networked online. Adrian, thank you so much. Donna, thank you so much for the video. Guys, until next week, that's it. You got a question? Email me at don at unveiltheweb.com and I'll look forward to answering your question.